Are you willing to go to that level to experience the power of your divine? And this is all about you. It's not about Jesus. It's not about God. It's not about Lao Tzu. It's not about Buddha. It's not about Chinese land. It's all about you. I, when I play, I had a lot of injuries in the ankles, in the knees, in the lower back, in the neck. So gradually, and plus some other injuries I had, I had bone spot in my neck, in my lower back, and severe pain in my knees. At that time, when I had the injury in my knees, my doctor said, you need to have a knee replacement, knee surgery. I was so young for that. I said, well, and uh, I don't like that. But the doctor said, even with the surgery, we cannot guarantee you that you will be okay with your knees. So I hang out and with the pain, I tried acupuncture, tried everything, herbal medicine, injection, but nothing worked. Until one day, I went to the uh, Qigong master coming to town. And he said, I mean, many friends told me by sitting in his workshop, doing the meditation together with him, possibly you could heal very severe challenges in your life. So since I already tried everything, he doesn't bother to try one more thing. So I went to his workshop, sitting on a dirt ground, seven hours and a half meditating, doing some very simple movements, the swelling in my knees, 100% gone, and the pain in my knees, 80% gone. Then after that, I practiced the simple movements, which now I'm sharing with the people too, for two months. And since then, my knees have been healed completely, completely. And my flexibility of the body even became better. And later on, at the time I was the dean of a college, I, so every year we had an annual medical checkup. Then I found out the bone spurt in my neck, in my lower back, also disappeared. And then later on, I found out my suicidal depression because of cultural evolution also completely gone. So I found this was a wonder. This is a life force. This is intelligence inside us to do all this work. I did not take any single pill for healing myself. So, you know, at this moment, I want you to stand up. Let's do a couple of Qigong movements, one Qigong movement, right? So I want you to bounce your body. <clears throat> Drop your shoulders, let go with your stomach, let go with your spine, but keep your spine relaxed and straight and focus on your knees and then bounce like this. This movement is, looks like, right? It's very simple, everybody can do it. You don't have to become an expert to do this movement. And you can do it any place you want. But by bouncing like this, like a 10 minutes, you know what has, what's going to happen? It helps you. Now continue to bounce. It helps you to balance your body's magnetic field in alignment with the magnetic field of the clan, of the ground, the earth, and the nature. That's number one. From the bigger picture, that's the energy you get. Number two, by bouncing like that, it helps you. You see, when you bounce, your, your spine is just like this, right? It helps you gently pumping the energy from, from your spine up to the top of the head and make the circulation naturally. This will be very good for your limb system, for your nerve system, for your immune system, for your digestive system and put the energy system which have been out of all in your internal organs back to the right place. This is it. Now, have your hands up, continue to bounce. Let go with your wrist, like what I do. When you bounce like this, you help to create force from the hands going down to the body to cleanse the channels open. Any energy blockages with the lungs, with the reproductive organs especially, this is a very good movement. And I have many students, some advanced students here, and you can talk to her, up, talk to them up to our session. All right, now put, put the hands down. 
All right, now we start doing one movement. It's called moving of yin and yang. Everybody, please hold your hands like this. Fingers slightly open, like you're holding a ball, right? With that kind of a posture, right? And slowly, now you start to move in your hands. Right hand moves out and down, left hand moves in and out. Move slowly, gently up to the forehead, down to the bladder level, and then rotate your hands in a circular way. Do it slowly, right, in a circular way. The left hand moves up, and the right hand moves out and down. Then left hand moves out and down, and right hand moves in and out. And you have your hands move close to your body like that. And you repeat this movement with the knees bend a little. That's even better. Slowly, just move your hands like that. By moving your hands like this, it can help to open up channels in the heart. Especially this movement has great effect for healing cancer. Why so? Well, if this movement can help to open up the blockages for healing with the cancer, how about other energy blockages? Of course, they're much simpler than the energy blockages of cancer in most people's mind. And you, you move this movement for five minutes, 10 minutes. If you have time, do it for half an hour. Just do this one movement. That will help you to open up channels. All right, now slowly put your hands down, facing your belly button. For men, left hand inside. For women, right hand inside. And you take a deep breath. All right, so wrap your hands and massage your face. Okay, so now take a seat, please. Okay, so now why this simple, repeated, unique movement have that much power then? Well, first of all, we need to know about the body. Make it just very simple to run through. In our body, we have 12 major energy channels. Six start or end in the hands, six start or end in the feet. And the energy flow is like this. It starts from the lower dantian, the belly button, and moves up to the chest. And from the chest, it goes to the hands. From the hands, it flows back up to the head. And from the head, it flows down to the feet. And then from feet, it moves up to the belly button again. And then pump the energy up to the chest, and then start another cycle. That's it. All right. So when you have your hands open like this, you open up six energy channels at the same time. So this, this is a you know, one part. And then you need to repeat this movement in the same way for a longer period of time. Why you need to do that? Other exercises do not have this unique wisdom, but Qigong does. Why so? Because when you hold this posture, when you do these movements for a certain length of time, you need to have that certain length of time to collect and direct the energy, the qi, to flow in the direction to help you to open up the channels.